Hey guys, today we have yet another CarPlay device to check. Over here I have my Volkswagen Golf Mark 7, which is CarPlay enabled. And over here you can see that the wired CarPlay is working. This is how it works. And this uh, device is designed to, um, to uh, transfer, to convert your um, uh, wired CarPlay into wireless CarPlay. So we are going to connect this instead of the USB cable. And from now on, uh, my iPhone should connect to the car wirelessly each time and each and every time uh, when I um, start the car and enter with my phone in my pocket. So let's disconnect the phone, let's connect to this device and let's check how this works. And that's pretty much it. I've connected it to the USB port. It will be available over here in about 10, 10 seconds, 15 seconds from the start. You will see this interface for a while. And uh, right now, since I already have it part with my phone, which is fairly easy, it will try to find it nearby. And, and here it is. We can already hear the music playback from the, uh, from the device. Maybe let's pause it. And uh, that's uh, that's how quick it boots up. And to be fair, you also need to wait for your car to uh, load up the uh, CarPlay application. So right now my Golf Mark 7 is turned on and I have it turned on from uh, for a while right now. But when you uh, turn on your car in the first thing in the morning, you will have to wait additionally, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds. This depends on your car for the CarPlay application on the car side to be loaded. And once it's loaded, only then the device can connect to it, then find your phone and bring the CarPlay interface wirelessly to your screen. OK, let me show you how the uh, touch input works. So there's a little bit of lag and the lag is greater if you keep your uh, keep your finger on the screen. But if you just uh, do, uh, do a simple swipe, a simple swipe, it will look pretty seamless. But still, you don't need to look at the screen. You just need to swipe. You should uh, keep your attention on the road. OK, so let's check if everything works here. We can hear the music. There's about a second of delay from the moment I've played this to the moment we can hear the sound. It's because of the audio buffer that's over here. Let's check steering wheel, steering wheel controls. And again, we can switch we can switch tracks, but there's this buffer delay that we need to get used to. Let's check if Spotify works, but I believe it will since uh, uh, other media playback works. So maybe let's select Discover This Week just for a brief second because we didn't want YouTube to get too nervous about copyrights. Okay, it works. Um, let's check navigation. So Google Maps is here. We can go to the dashboard view and have a split view of my media playback and the and navigation screen. What else? If you want to go back to your car, you can select one of those buttons, uh, like usually, or you can just select the Volkswagen, in my case, Volkswagen logo, but this will change uh, depending on the brand of car you have. Of course, uh, rotary knob also works, so you can select things with the rotary knob you do if you don't have a touch screen in your car, but uh, since uh, you are using CarPlay in your car, just wire it, the controls are all, all the same. Okay, cool things about this device is uh, that you don't need to use the USB port, which is over here, to uh, perform updates. There are some firmware updates and they make sure that this device works uh, properly and it supports uh, modern and newer cars. So. Uh, from time, time to time you should update it just to make sure it works properly the way to do um, the, the way to do it to update it you need to connect uh, to it like we have it all over here we are connected wirelessly and on your phone go to your web browser and enter address uh, 192.168.50.2 go to this address and you will have this interface and over here you can check for updates 
and uh, it is the latest version so we don't have anything to update and we have some advanced settings which is also very cool so we can adva uh, you, we can adjust the sound quality from DVD we can go to CD this will bring down a little bit the um, sound quality but it should also uh, remove a little bit this uh, lag we have also media um, delay so this is I believe the sound buffer we have startup delay if you have some problems turning it on maybe um, maybe uh, your car requires the USB um, device to be uh, connected a little bit later than uh, uh, as soon as the power uh, appears um, we have a frame rate setting we have uh, some other uh, other things that I'm not sure of what are uh, those designed for but if I found if I find some um, additional information I will leave it in the description below this video okay so we have some advanced settings we have a very simple um, update procedure and since the update can be performed wirelessly I'm even not sure why there is an USB port over here maybe it's for an emergency update or when um, the device is not, is not supporting your current car and you cannot just uh, simply connect to perform the update you need to do it with an usb drive so it's a, a neat thing that they have a emergency way to update the device firmware what else box very simple just the device inside and uh, simple user manual but you will not need the user manual since all that you need to know is over here how to pair it with your phone how to update the firmware how to troubleshoot some of the most common um, uh, common problems the device is very small let me just show you how small is it compared to compared to an iPhone 11 this is how small it is so you will have no problem fitting it in your front cabby or even if you want you can hide it under the dashboard or under the center console so you will have a seamless installation of your uh, of this device uh, of the wireless CarPlay interface in your car okay so in the description below this video you will find more information about this device as well as a link to an online store if you want to equip your car with one of those give me thumbs up if you like this simple tutorial and subscribe for future ones see you soon